I'm Stropdoor. Welcome to another reaction video. Now, this is Deadpool versus Dante. Now, you already know Dante is going to win this. There's nothing Deadpool has except the Bromley Team Sword that could kill Dante. But, I'm guessing they're not going to give him the Bromley Team Sword since he, they didn't when he fought Shadow. Which, well, Shadow, I don't even know if Shadow can be hurt by swords. But, anyways, if you... If you like the video, make sure to show with some love and hit that. Oh. Okay. Hit the like button down below. Comment on me and his videos. To act to me and Animation Rewind's channel. I'll leave a link of the fight in the description. And yeah. Let's get right into this. Go Dante. Yes, no commercials. Alright. What's up everyone? Welcome to the 89th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm yep. your host, Animation. You're look at all the Marvel comics. If you're new to this series, then be sure to check out the older content. But if you know all how right. the game is played, I already have. I've seen all of these. For the fun. Tonight's episode was animated by Smackader. So if you enjoy what you see, Don't make me sure to head over to his Okay, 414. 4 minutes 14 seconds. Speaking that means it's gonna be a nice battle, fight. We have a fight between Dante the Demon and Deadpool. The mark with Let's the mouth. Cartoon Fight Club's 89th round of fighters. I can't wait to the hundredth. Deadpool is back on Cartoon Fight Club. The first time he was on here, he fought the Edge Lord himself, Shadow. And the second yep. time he was on here, he fought the Wayne Baldy, known as One Punch Man. Today, he faces Dante the Demon Hybrid. And because Deadpool's basic abilities are pretty much absolutely the same as they were the first two times he was on here, yep. I'm going to give you a super quick rundown of what he can do, and I'm going to give you some Deadpool updates. For starters, Ooh. your boy Deadpool is no longer cursed by Thanos. Which means what exactly? Well, it means really? that Deadpool is no longer banned from death. But the definition is still kind of unclear if I have to be completely honest with you. Really? Now let me explain. Oh, he can- oh. Deadpool will still never die from any natural causes. Oh. And his cancer is still never going to kill him. So technically, Deadpool still has the opportunity to live absolutely forever. But okay. mortality is not omnipotence, which means there are things in the universe that can now make him cease to exist. Yeah. What would it take to kill Deadpool, you ask? Well, if every single cell in Deadpool's body gets destroyed, he will have nothing to yep. regenerate back from. And then he can't regenerate. things get complicated. If Deadpool quote-unquote dies, he can easily escape the afterlife and re-enter the real world. Long story short, yes, the really? curse is lifted, really? but there are so many loopholes and ways around a permanent death that yep. it really doesn't matter if it's Cause he's Deadpool. And then there's the part where someone actually has to try and kill Deadpool in the first place, which is no easy task. Deadpool has a satchel with literally an infinite amount of ammunition, and his most important blade has the ability to take away anyone's healing factor. Yep. He's also skilled enough They're using to Prometheum then. the likes of Spider-Man, Wolverine, and even gods like Thor. Deadpool also has fourth wall awareness and the ability to okay. break the fourth wall and tamper with the audience. Overall, Deadpool's banish from death has been lifted by Thanos, but there are many loopholes that means... to banish, and killing him to begin with is no easy task. Oh man, that means he could win, but if he can easily be incinerated, or something like that, Dante is probably just going to kill him. The minute I make Dante would lose. Mercenary private investigator and vigilante devil hunter yep. dedicated to exterminating evil demons and other supernatural forces. A mission he and being awesome while he does it. Those that killed his mother and corrupted his brother. Dante possesses extraordinary powers far beyond that of any human being. Because he's a demon hybrid. Demons, thanks to the blood of his father, Sparta, running through his veins. Dante possesses incredible raw body strength, even while in human form. He can shatter stone with little difficulty, and often yep. overpowers demons much larger and more imposing than himself. He's also Uses, um, uh, able to 
dodge speed of sound attacks and Styles. bullets fired at close range, and even moves so fast that he appears to teleport. His speed yep. is rivaled only by his brother Virgil. Dante can effectively heal from nearly any wound. Like, watch this. Even the Hellbrides were surprised when he ignored their attacks at the beginning of Double Look at May this. His body's coming off the sword like. <laughs> Don't tell me that was not awesome. Dante is also equipped with around 666 weapons that range from ballistic guns to sharp swords. His yeah. main pistols are so strong that they can one-shot even the strongest of demons and monsters. He's right. Thanks to his half-demon nature, Dante So they're not using styles. Through his devil trigger. This turns him into a full-on demon. This form increases his strength, speed, healing factor, and even grants him mm -hmm. the ability to fly. Surprisingly, the only thing in Dante's way is actually Dante. Dante does a great <laughs> job at underestimating his opponents, that might be bad. him to get a good early start against him during most fights. However, thanks to his quick thinking skills, this setback is something that he can overcome more often than not. Yeah. Overall, Dante is an immortal demon hybrid. Okay. Who's gonna win? Factor. I'm hoping it's Dante. If it's Deadpool, he better have a really good explanation. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle's going to take place on Earth with no prep time. Okay. Let the battle begin. If they had prep time, Deadpool would know about it. He'd be like, wait, I'm in the show. According to the request, there's some sort of immortal demon around here. This might be some kind of joke. There's nothing here. I get it talking about Deadpool. I can help but listen in on your little monologue there. I too have been assigned to kill an immortal demon. A total loudmouth in red. Is that so? <laughs> I get it. Loudmouth in red. Hey, nobody calls me a wimp. Hey, hold it. Don't take out that sword now. Fight me mano a mano. It'll be fun. Alright, but... These are my manos. Nope. <laughs> Dang. This one's a pretty good hand-to-hand -hand fight. Cause you tricked him. I guess this means I win mano y mano, huh? Not quite. <laughs> wow, you really are something else. Do you mind being my personal punching bag? <laughs> He's like, could you be my punching bag? Okay, that does it. Gunfight now. He's like, no personal no, no. <laughs> Just like the death battle. Bye, 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 bye. Ooh. Oh, come on. We both know you're gonna recover from this. I say that I'm doing it for suspense, but most of these idiots, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's pretty obvious that someone is clearly pitting us against each other. Knowing this, should we still be fighting? No. Not really. Did we stop? Of course not. We go all out. That's what I thought. <laughs> He's like, of course not. I want to keep fighting. Oh, wow. He just punched him. Don't hit him with Prometheum. Don't hit him with Prometheum, please. Which part is going to regenerate? Man, you're barely setting up a fight anymore. I haven't even started warming up. What happened to going all out? Well, to beat you, all I gotta do is outslice that regeneration. Please don't have me off Prometheum. I win. That's the last mission you'll go on. Slow down there, bud. Don't worry. This will be the last this evening. <gasps> that silence suits you way better. Oh, he used Quicksilver! Do you really think I was going to lose to that guy? Well, as long as you don't continue the video. There's no way I'll lose. I mean, seriously, man. It'll gotta be illegal to kill people as sexy as I am, bruh. <laughs> Tell me some 
yes yeah, something my fans let me tell you something things aren't gonna end too good for your old pal dp but you know what who cares this is show is some garbage and so is the animation bruh i've learned to accept that some animators really suck he's dissing himself i'm gonna lose big deal right oh who am i kidding hey smack a derp oh that you wow oh he said something about getting canceled and he had canceled I guess if he used Quicksilver, he probably could do that. Have enough time to break everything in his body. Every cell in his body, especially with his double trigger. Man, that guy is so annoying. In the world for this one better be good. <laughs> yep, Dante won. I was about to say, was it about the styles? But he didn't need to say the styles. Like Quicksilver. Now before I go to war with all the Deadpool fans, yep. I wanna give a huge special It's thanks not gay to if the nuts don't Smack touch it. What? Look at that video over down there. It's not gay if the nuts don't touch it. What the What the heck? Now let's discuss Dante versus Deadpool. Okay, yeah. Deadpool versus Dante is quite a tongue twister. This isn't some basic debate where you True. can just choose a winner through power scaling. Low key, however. Dante's overall power scale is larger than Deadpool's, yeah. but that's not how a debate like this would specifically go. So I'm not that even going to that kind of stuff. And yes, the official winner of this episode is Dante, and I'm about to explain yeah. why soon. But if Deadpool wanted to, he could leave the afterlife and re-enter the real world. Just how though? because the curse is lifted, it doesn't mean his death is permanent. However... Why would Deadpool leave the afterlife? I mean, honestly, if you were Deadpool, would you leave this? I know I won't. <laughs> he said, I know I wouldn't Unless leave. He's forced to, or he absolutely has to return to the real world. So yes, this debate doesn't fall under the eternal fight problem the previous yep. Deadpools fell victim to. And don't get me wrong, Dante isn't completely banned from death either. He can also be sent to the afterlife. Just because you could live forever, doesn't mean you would live forever. Could and would <laughs> are two different things. But back to this debate. Thanks to Dante's Quicksilver style and yep. his bangle of time, he can easily freeze time and disintegrate all of Deadpool cells down to nothingness. Now this doesn't make the fight some curb stop, because Dante wouldn't mm -hmm. use this move as a first resort. He's way too cocky to make systematical decisions like He's right, he was away. playing with them kind of. But he didn't use double trigger. Of time is and why did not Deadpool use the Promethean Sword if he was smart? Sure, Deadpool has a blade that can get rid of healing factors, but using this blade isn't something he'd use as a first resort either. He would have to know that yep. Dante has a healing factor to begin with. But he only knew that after that he stabbed him the first time, and it was too late. Time is involved. Speaking of prep time, if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch between Dante and Virgil versus Ooh. Deadpool and Wolverine with prep time, you know what to do. Comment down below the word rematch and if this episode I don't know what Virgil will do with the prep time, but I don't know if Dante's gonna do anything with the prep time because again, he's so cocky. Don't forget to comment down your ideas for future episodes. I don't have an idea yet. But when I do, I'll comment again on a video. Now let's see who's gonna fight next. After we see who's gonna fight next, well, I'm gonna end the video. Okay, so Aquaman. Really, the old, the old Aquaman show. <gasps> oh, I get it. Mermaid Man versus Aquaman. <laughs> I love that episode. <laughs> oh, or just regular SpongeBob. Okay. Aquaman should win. He has control over sea creatures and Spongebob's a sea sponge, even though Spongebob has the page thing. But yeah, I think that definitely gonna win. Aquaman's gonna win. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you show me some love. Hit that like button down below. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, stay active to me and Animation Rewind. Subscribe for more awesome content like this and yeah. I'll see you dudes later. Peace out. Where are you, where you go?